Mitch in the days when he was designing for UA. And uh, that converter kind of came and went. And I was, I think I was uh, fumming through Mix magazine. And there was a lot of buzz that you, you guys were coming out with uh, the mothership. Started checking it out. Transformers intrigued me because right now I'm doing a lot of electronica and I wanted to humanize stuff that was coming off computers basically. And so I thought, okay, what if you had something that sounded like tape, a converter that humanized basically what was coming off a, a laptop or out of uh, the various um, DAWs, you know, soft sense coming through transformers and I mean it's it's a winner I mean the the amount of depth space and width you can get off Burl conver converters is amazing so I mean I've, I've auditioned a lot of converters we uh, previously we had one 192s and you know 192 is your standard converter it's a little sterile. Stereo field's a little flat, and lots and lots of records were made on 192s, but it lacked depth as far as converters. And I started looking at high, higher and higher end converters, and everybody always talks about purity of sound. Like the cleanest, like you have to, if you're gonna buy a high end converter, you have to get the cleanest, most pristine, sound coming off that converter and if you start thinking about tape and the magic that tape produced in the 70s and the uh, early 80s you're not talking about pristine you're talking about distortion and how distortion affects human hearing and so you I'd audition a high-end converter and it's like yeah it sounds great but there's still something missing and the first time I heard the mothership, my jaw dropped. The extension of bass straight into the floor, like it was just gr grounded into the floor. The sparkle on the highs and beautiful mids. And it's very, it's the way the human ear hears. And, and the beauty of it is when you push it, it's beautiful. When you pull back, it's beautiful. And it does that thing that you seek when you're mixing, which is when you push it hard, the stereo field opens up and everything kind of pops forward. And you can't get that in any other converter except for the Burl. <laughs>